Alright, so this is the last video of the series. Um, I did forget to film a little bit. Um, I might just cut it in to the video, but yeah. So I basically got done drying and trimming everything. It's just in the curing process. For drying, I just kind of put it on these hooks with the stems. I should have probably just cut off the whole thing and just hung it like that. But I just cut it off kind of by branch and then hung them and kind of hung them on this somehow and hung it down here. If, you, if you've seen the video, if I cut it in, then you probably know already. And then and this is a final thing, final product of the Gorilla Dosha. Still curing. Um, I think I just about got, I almost got five ounces, 4.7 ounces, uh, just about, and 132 grams, 0.67, so about 132 grams, um, give or take, and yeah, I'm just super excited about this grill. When I was drawing, I was like, damn, I'm not sure if it's going to be that good. But then once they dried and cured, yeah, it just made it all worth it. It's like, damn, this is the best harvest I've ever had. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, let's get some light shots. And um, that's going to be it for this series. Um, yeah, sorry, I've been lagging on the videos. I've been grinding NFTs. Um, if you've seen my last video, yeah probably discuss that in another video um, but yeah just look at that let's get some light shots so but even without the light you can see how crazy it is I basically filled up three and a half mason jars these two are kind of like half filled all right yeah see with the light you can actually really see all the trichomes it's super sticky I do D definitely wear gloves when you're trimming you know and I got a lot of keef too. I got to show you guys some of that. All right, so this is the trim bim, the bottom of it. It's a nice chunk of really light keef. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, um, but I'm just going to save it for now. And look, I have this thing filled with uh, older keef, and I did mix a little bit of it in there, but I might just keep it separate. Uh, this one's a little bit darker from a little mix of my G13. Yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit darker. But yeah, still got to figure out what to do with this. But yeah, I'm stoked on it. Because uh, I used a trim bin. And I freeze some of the trimmings. Most of the trimmings, just so... Just in case I want to make some bubble hash in the future. But yeah, amazing freaking harvest. I'm stoked on this. Shout out in-house genetics for the seeds. Uh, really proved my, like, I was doing a little test, like, if I could grow good weed with a shitty light and a little setup. And, yeah, you just need good genetics, basically, and just a good, like, just need to take care of the plants. Oh, my gosh. See all the trichomes they can do the jar there's even more popcorn nugs in this one towards the end bottom of the plant but yeah I'll probably start another grill here soon giving it a little bit of time taking a little bit of break focus on nfts but yeah hope you guys like the the series um very happy with this harvest the results will the yield will be on the screen and if you like the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out, guys. Oh, and you can see, like, a little bit of purple from the, I think, uh, dosi dose is a little purple, but the Gorilla Dosha, or the Gorilla Glue on this really sticks out, but.
super fire. Alright, catch you guys later. Thank you guys for watching.